Hello, my name is John Ketchum, and this is my invention, the D-Test Rowing Bench. I'll explain to you the different parts of it, and then I will demonstrate it for you. As you can see, there's a kneeling platform right here. It's a set height off the ground, such that when you're on there, you can use an Olympic weight set without the weights having to touch the ground, even when the arms are at full extension. Behind the kneeling platform is a foot anchor. It's required as when the weights start to get heavy, the tendency is for the legs to want to shift back and the foot anchor keeps you in place. There's a set of racks in the front for easy retrieval and replacement of the bar. There's a headpiece, which is adjustable. It is a chiropractic style headpiece, it's split down the center. And as you will see here, the, the headpiece pads are attached with Velcro and are adjustable for various size heads and face widths. There are handles on either side of the headpiece for grasping when doing one-arm dumbbell rows. And on this particular model, there's a second set of racks over here. The headpiece is reversible so that you can do the rows one arm dumbbell or barbell while just bending at the waist, not kneeling if that is your choice. Otherwise, the main use here is to be kneeling. It is set such that it should be anchored to the ground, particularly if you're going to be doing the barbell rows with the headpiece reversed and not kneeling. With dumbbells, it's okay, and certainly in the kneeling platform, it's not going to tip. Now, I will just pause this momentarily, and then I will demonstrate for you how this table works. Okay, then. I will now demonstrate by doing a couple of barbell rows with this. You'll notice that when I'm in the kneeling position, my legs are bent, taking all the stretch off the sciatic nerve. As well, the headpiece supports from the chest position. There's no pressure on the disc. There's no stretch on the sciatic nerve. Very comfortable for the low back. The headpiece, because it is split, is designed so you can look face down without having to turn your head at all, without having to extend your neck at all. Head and neck are kept in a neutral position. Low back is kept in neutral position. Very comfortable position, very safe position to allow you to really blast the upper back without damaging the lower back. Feet are anchored against the back rest. The main part thing here is when you're laying onto the headpiece, the chest piece takes the bulk of your body weight. This is more just for comfort and breathing, but this is where you want anchored really tight against your chest. how the knee chest rowing bench works with the barbell. I will now demonstrate with the dumbbell. Straight, the one-arm dumbbell row. If you wind it to that part or not. Now, I will demonstrate the one-arm dumbbell row. The handles will help support you. They'll keep you from rotating or tor torquing your torso as you pull the weight up. dumbbell row, the weights may be dropped to the ground safely when done with the exercise. The headpiece is reversible. I will now show it with the headpiece reversed. I will now demonstrate the barbell bent over row with the reverse headpiece. I do not have weight on the bar because for this particular method, the bench should be anchored to the ground. If I were to put weight on here and try to display otherwise, it is likely to tip and obviously I have it in the yard. So right now I will demonstrate it with an empty bar, but you'll get the understanding of how it does work. Again, head down. Most of the weight being supported on the chest piece. The 
other way that this can be used with the headpiece in this direction is again with a dumbbell. And this is actually probably the more preferred way if you're going to be using the table in this manner is with the dumbbell. And I will show you that. Again, anchor your chest down. In both the kneeling versions and the standing bent versions, the bar can be dropped to the ground, the dumbbell can be dropped to the ground without hurting the table if you can't get it back on the rack. But quite honestly, it's very easy once you get used to it to get it on and off the rack. Thank you very much.